Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a brand new coin, well, sort of brand new, a newer coin, to mine with your Ant Miner Z9 Minis. I know normally I do like GPU mining tutorials and things like that, but I figured since I've made a video on my Z9 Mini before, I'm going to keep you guys updated on these as well and to check out profits and things like that. But this newer coin that we're gonna be talking about, I believe it's pronounced Tokel or something along those lines. It's T-O-K-E-L. And with this token, it's a competitor with Ethereum and a few other things, but we'll be going over that. I'll be showing you the website and everything, of course. But I just wanted to show you guys this part of it, just so you know it's for the Antminer Z9 Mini. It may be possible to do it with a GPU, but then you'll have to convert it over. So this is strictly for the Antminer Z9 Minis, and it's pretty profitable from what like the experience I've had with it. But we'll be going on my computer, to, and I'll be showing you guys like my wallet for it and showing you guys the website. So that way you guys know it's profitable and it's like an actual project, and they've been updating it, keeping it up to date. I've been meaning to make this video sooner, but I just want, I always like to wait with newer coins to make sure that these projects end up like sticking around and being solid projects, not just jumping in and saying, oh, go mine this and go mine that. I like to make sure it's actually worth the time. It's not something that's just gonna go away eventually because these guys are building up to be a possible competitor with Solona and Ethereum and things like that. But we'll be going over that later on. But for now, we'll jump over my computer and I'll show you guys a website and like my wallet for it and everything. Because most people with these Ampminer Z9 Minis, they tend to stick to like Zcash and Zen and things like that. But there's many other coins that you can mine that are even more profitable than those ones because over the years, Zcash and a few others have become less profitable with Ant Miners especially with like the crypto crashes that have been happening off and on. So this gives you a chance to kind of build up these coins early in case they end up taking off or something happens with them, especially with all this metaverse and NFTs and things like that. These coins are good for, especially when competing with like Ethereum and Solona and things like that. But yeah, we'll jump over to the computer and take a look at things right now. And I may sound like a little different, like maybe a little heavier breathing or things like that. I'm just going through some health issues, so I had to move back home. So that's why it's a whole different background with my videos. And that's why I'm not really like mining too much. It's because the hydro rates at my parents' house here is not really like the best. Where at my apartment, I didn't have to pay hydro. But just the circumstances in my life have brought me back here. But like I said, I still plan to bring all these tutorials and type of things for you guys. All right guys, so now we're over on my computer. And as you see, we're over on the Tokel website. Like I said, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Sorry if I butchered it. I'm kind of just like thinking of token and then Tokel, you know, a little bit of difference there. But anyways, as you see, once you get over to the website, their main focus is creating NFT, NFTs and tokens easily, no complicated smart contracts and no gas fees. So already you're looking at this as a better alternative to like Ethereum and things like that because there's no smart contracts, you don't have to worry about things like that, and the gas fee is next to nothing. Pretty much no gas fee at all, as they say right here. So if we end up just scrolling down a little bit more, you can compare it with other um, cryptos that do NFTs and things like that, as you see here. They have a whole chart. So you see Tokel right there. It has no gas fees per transaction. Cost to create one NFT is 0.000003 compared to Ethereum where it's $70 plus and even Solona is $2.16. Solona is obviously like a better option than Ethereum as well. But if you really want to save on like the cost to create and gas fees, Tokel is going to be your number one go-to. I was actually put on to this token by one of uh, my subscribers, I believe it was. They've commented on my other Antminer Z9 Mini video and they told me to go ahead and start mining this because it has a potential to be a good project. But like I said, I took some time, looked into it, mined it for a while, and seeing that they're actually supplying updates and things like that. And as you see, they're all open source, so there's no difference there. But Tokel has an all-in-one application where you can go ahead and create NFTs, your assets, things like that. But I'll show you that in the wallet here. They also have a light client. And there's no need for smart contracts or contract audits. That could be a good or bad thing because anyone can slip anything in. 
but without smart contracts, it just takes away the complicated back end of things. So people like me and you can just go ahead and create NFTs and things like that without any issue and with low gas fees, of course, pretty much none at all. So if we keep scrolling down, as you see, it's for everyone. Anyone can go ahead and use it. If you're an individual like myself, it's easy to use. If you're a business, blockchain developer, creator, game developer, there's many integrations with Tokel and they have a huge roadmap on what's to come. And they've already pushed out a few updates that I've been like keeping up with and seeing that they're actually developing this into something else. So if we scroll down a bit more, uh, it's easy to use access for all simple NFT and token creation. And it's just simple concepts all around. It's truly decentralized, as it says here, open source, open community, just like most cryptocurrencies. So it's not much different there, but it's always good to see the open source, open community. It's not just one guy that's running it. So to go along with their open source and open community, it's open source technology, it's community funded, so it's the community behind it itself. And like I said, it's mined, it's proof of work. So that back end of things is always there, unlike Ethereum and other ones that are switching around and going to proof of stake and this and that. We have the actual backbone of cryptocurrency with this one. And as we scroll down here, they have all their social medias and things like that you can join in on. And yeah, overall, it's just like a positive community from what I've seen. As you see, they're all in one platform. This is what I recommend to use. It's like their wallet with everything else involved. You can create NFTs and tokens in a click of a button, store and send tokens and NFTs, browse the marketplace. The marketplace is still in the works, but it's built in already into like the wallet and such. It's just not displayed there fully, if that makes sense. But I'll be showing you that. You can trade your NFTs and all that within the wallet and app itself uses a leading edge decentralized super light client so it's easy to install easy to use and you don't have to download a whole blockchain which is really nice you boot up the wallet you create like a passcode and you're good to go and as you see right down here your options to go ahead and download you have mac or linux whatever and then you have windows and then you have the apple so i'm just going to quickly show you the wallet application itself so you guys know what you're getting into here but if we just scroll down a little bit more, they have podcasts and things. And these are the two um, areas that you can buy it on, Atomic Dex and Dex Trade. Those will be through like the swaps or the exchanges that you can buy it on right now. You can exchange it for like Bitcoin and a few other things. But soon enough, it's going to be available through direct swaps, as it says. You can keep up to date with like their social medias and things like that. So you can keep up on when they're going to push a lot of these features out. But quickly here, we'll just open up the platform. It's called Tokel Platform. So once you download it, you just install it and you're gonna be setting up like an account. I have already done it, so I'm just not gonna go through that. I have my key or seed phrase. This is how you keep your wallet or your Tokel locked up. It's a special seed phrase that you'll get and make sure to write it down somewhere and you just click login. And it'll log in and as you see here, I have a little bit, I don't have a crazy amount because like I said, I just started mining this before I had to move out. But as you see, it's only about 22 cents worth of 30 uh, tokel. But uh, with some of the pools, you get paid out every like 10 uh, tokel. So it's, it's fairly worth it as you see here. It doesn't take long sometimes in the same day you get like a few different transactions. My uh, Ant Miner Z9 Mini is not overclocked or anything gets around 11 to 12 um, was it souls a second or whatever it is because it's on Equihash. So it's not overly powerful, but it's enough to make you a profit compared to like Zcash and these other ones. I'm pulling in at least 7 to 10 cents per like uh, time I do it. Unlike uh, where Zcash, I have to sit there and wait till I'm over like a dollar or more to actually get paid out. So it's not really worth it, especially with the latest like uh, difficulty uh, increases in the latest like crashes and things like that uh, a lot of people are turning to like these smaller ones just to keep their profits up and going but as you see I got 30 of them if you go down the left hand side here or sorry the right hand side you have your main address and then you have your tokens and NFT address so everything is nice and laid out it's very clean and straightforward you can come over here and create an NFT already if you want you can go ahead and make your NFTs you can make tokens if you want, so your own type of token. And then once the marketplace is open and going, you'll be able to sell and buy and trade your own token within the marketplace, and other people will be able to as well. 
And if you click on the DEX, this is a decentralized exchange that will be coming soon. They have the roadmap and they have a Discord where you can go in and keep up to date on all that. But they've slowly been updating a lot of things like before. They didn't even have the price and all these other boxes. But recently they just put an update out to clean up their wallet and actually like give it use. So and then if we go down to the NFT market, this is going to be the marketplace when it is available. So if you want to buy, sell, create NFTs, it's all just going to be within this wallet and all in one program here. Super easy to do. It's all in one place. So you don't have to go to like this website, that website. It's all clean and right here for you, which this is why I kind of believe in this project because it's a simplified, simplified version of Ethereum in a sense. You don't have to go to OpenSea and all this other stuff and transfer to different wallets. Everything is right here for you. You can choose your theme. The only currency, like the currency for fiat is USD right now. But I imagine they'll be adding like Canadian and a few others over some time. We're currently on version 1.23. I just updated today because they put an update out a little bit ago. But like I said, overall, it seems like a solid project. So this is going to be like the first thing you want to set up if you are wanting to mine it. Because then you're going to get your address right here, which is going to be used for the mining pools. Because you're probably wondering, oh, what pools are available and things like that. I'll just close that out. So if we go over to mining pool stats, there's only a few, like, three pools. And obviously this one has, like, the most, 92% hash rate. I personally don't like going to the one with all the hash rate. I like spreading out. I personally use this pool right here, DamonCoins.com. So what we'll do is we'll just stick with using that one. I've gotten my payouts. Everything's been working there, but that was about a month ago. So if this pool doesn't end up working for you, you can try one of the other ones as well. Feel free to. But for this tutorial, we're going to be sticking with Daemon Coins. So once you open up the Daemon Coins, here's a URL, so make sure you're on the right one. As you see, Equi has seven miners, Tokel, seven miners. So they have a few different coins, but if what you want to do is come over here and click Get Started. And then you're going to see select a coin for connection details. So you click on that and then you click on Tokel right there. So right here you, you see the coins, Tokel. And then right here is going to be all your information you're going to put into your Ant Miner. So once your Ant Miner is up and running, you want to go to like the edit the configurations for your pool stats and stuff. I would show you guys that, but I don't have mine set up obviously because of the hydro rates and things like that. But you're going to put in these three different uh, URLs in each of your pools because the Antminer Z9 Mini has three different uh, pool uh, ports. So you're going to put in each one just as a backup because it's always good to do that. You usually don't want to put the same one, the same like port into each one just in case one crashes or things like that. I mean, you can if you want to. You can go ahead and just use this one and put it into all three ports, which is no big deal. And obviously your algorithm is automatically going to be Equihash. Your password can be anything. You can just leave it blank. You can put X. It literally doesn't matter. The username is going to be that wallet address I showed you guys. You want to copy it from your wallet and put it into there. But just to give you kind of an example, once that's all set up, you can go to graph stats here. You can see like the difficulty, the amount people are being uh, paid out, the blocks found and things like that. Like I said, if this doesn't work for you guys, you could try a different pool. But if we go over to worker stats, there's only a few people. Like when I was doing this, there was like at least 15, 20 people. So it's, it could be something wrong with the pool itself. But like I said, I personally used this one and didn't find an issue. So if we just go ahead and like click on one, you guys can see their immature is 1.25. Their balance is that. They've been totally paid 2,086. Like I did this for a couple days. And as you've seen, I got 30 tokens. So about three days, I got 10 each day. It's not a crazy amount. It's only because I ended up with only my one Z9 mini. And that's with uh, about 10 or 11 to 12 kilohash or sorry, 11 to 12 souls or whatever it is. Sorry, it's been a while since I booted it up. But as you see, yeah, the kill of souls. So I was only around like this mark right here, the 12, where most people have multiple and things like that. So if you have multiple Z9 minis and things, you can pull in a lot of like coin with this. So, for example, we go to this guy. He has a whole bunch of different ones running. And as you see, he's pulling in a huge amount all day, every day. And sometimes the immature takes a bit to pay out. You can get paid out with every 10, 20, 30. Or you can go ahead and set it however you want. And you can check the payments out whenever payments are being sent out and things like that. But overall, it's a very solid project from what I've seen. And 
from what I have like researched into it. I know I wasn't able to actually show you guys like setting up the actual pool itself because like I said, I don't have it running. But all your information is going to be right here if you're familiar with Antminer Z9 Minis. If you're not, you can go ahead and watch my other video. I believe I have like a part where I set up a pool and things like that. If not, it's a quick, easy search. But if you have an Antminer Z9 Mini, I assume you know how to set it up and get it going. But yeah, hopefully overall this video kind of helped you guys. Like I said, I just like bringing new tokens and coins and things to you guys to mine. Right now it seems like it's only through Equihash, so even if you have a GPU, you might be able to mine it through Equihash and through a different pool. Like I said, it's not. I guess it's strictly for ASICs, but at the same time, if you have proper graphics cards and such that can do Equihash, there's no problem. You should be able to set up and do it that way too with your GPU. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as it lets me know it's helping you guys out and you're enjoying this type of content. One last thing before I sign off here. If you do decide, you know, maybe you don't want to mine it and you just want to buy it, there's the buy button up here and I'll bring you to one of the exchanges where you can sign up and start like buying it if you want even. Or like I say, it's always better to mine it because then that way you're not really at a loss for money unless you're paying hydro and things like that. But yeah, like I said, hopefully this helped you guys bring you onto a new token or coin. And if you could figure out with your GPUs as well, that's even better. I just haven't done, I haven't tried using it with my graphics card or anything like that. I just had the Z9 Mini and figured, oh, why not bring this attention to people? Because somebody in my comments decided to go ahead and bring my attention to it. So I set aside some time and research and I put like my effort into it to make sure it's a legitimate project. And so far it's showing signs as like a good proper project, especially with the competitor to Ethereum with the no complicated smart contracts and no gas fees. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you have an amazing day and this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.